Greetings from Arizona. This is Tony Kuiper, and I'm pleased to be working again with Sean Bagshaw on his second edition Complete Guide to Luminosity Masks video series. The methods for creating luminosity masks, the lights, darks, and midtones, were first published on my website in 2006 and have spread since then to find a place in the workflow of many photographers. These masks make it possible to manipulate specific tones in the image instead of working on the photo's individual elements. The feathering of luminosity masks is always perfect because the image itself determines the edges. So any changes made using luminosity masks blend seamlessly into the image. They offer an advanced level of precision and control for many Photoshop operations. Burning, dodging, adjustments, painting, and blending are some of the common areas where luminosity masks can make a difference. Luminosity masks aren't all that hard to understand and use, but they do take some practice and effort initially. My written tutorials are meant to provide a strong foundation for these techniques. Sean takes this material and adds to it in his videos. He demonstrates how luminosity masks can be applied to everyday use by explaining the most important basic information, showing what's possible using real images, and encouraging experimentation. Sean is indeed a luminosity mask super user and has a gift for conveying these concepts to others. So I feel extremely fortunate that he has chosen to create this new video series to help explain the luminosity mask concepts I pioneered. Luminosity masks are a pretty amazing tool for developing photographs. Over the past decade, their potential has been discovered, discussed, and even duplicated on other websites. Sean Bagshaw's original videos on this topic were pivotal in introducing others to what luminosity masks can do, especially in the realm of nature photography and he continues this role in the second Complete Guide to Luminosity Masks series. I know you'll enjoy these videos a lot, and I'm also sure they'll help you discover new ways to make your photographs even better. Thank you for your interest in these techniques. As always, best wishes for good light and great pictures.